Yo, everybody, and welcome to this week's episode of the Rank Cafe Weeb Ass Podcast. That was in the first 15 <laughs> seconds of the video we're getting demonetized. Anyway, we are here with the usual co host, Animek, who has been here for the last couple of episodes because he doesn't go anywhere. Except for last week, which he ditched because of Christmas. Yep, I did. But then also, you guys ditched, so everyone ditched. I did not ditch. I was the only one there, so I just didn't do it because I was... And we also have the legendary Briggs, who has returned from vacation for years, and then he got COVID, and then he's now he's dying. Uh, uh, but we have him here today. I'm back. I'm back, Briggs. I miss you guys. Very exciting. And we also have... For the oh my VTuber guy died, and we also have for the very first time the legendary Obake Pam. Hi, you remembered me this time. So <laughs> yay! A lot of you are probably wondering how did I get to know Pam, and the answer no, is don't simple. Don't steal my first question, damn it! Okay, all right, all right, Animac, Animac, do you have any questions? Animac, do you have any questions? Is it Pam or Pum? Pam is good. Pam is good. Pam, okay. Like Pam. the shiz you spray on Pam. How did you meet Nox Daku? Because he knows right. every single VTuber, and I think he's <laughs> running some kind of VTuber cult slash trafficking ring. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Valid. Well, you see, mm -hmm, a bunch mm -hmm. of my viewers are really, really dedicated. <laughs> And they keep they keep sending my clips to Nux and one day he saw a clip that he really liked and then like 20 minutes later saw another clip of me but he forgot me already. And they they flamed the shit out of me on Twitter. Okay, really all right, hold on. Okay, all right, all right. I, I would I didn't forget you. I just never knew who you were to begin with. So it, it's not like forgetting happened, all right? I saw the clip, I was like, I that was pretty funny. And then I saw another clip and I'm like, okay, now I kinda wanna know who this person is because your clips are funny. Yeah, but weren't you thinking like, yo, it's Amelie's daughter. That's cool. I was not thinking that. To be fair, but, to be fair, I had a giant carrot on my head. Okay, it was yeah. very recognizable. Yeah, That's not right. as it was, stylish it was, as your crown. It was, it was the carrot. It was the carrot. On yesterday's stream, I got another clip of yours <laughs> as a joke. So I saw the clip and I was like, oh, that was a pretty funny clip. I've never seen this VTuber before. And <laughs> my chat was like, you just reacted last time. <laughs> last time you saw it. So then I felt like, yeah, okay, all right. Fuck, man. <laughs> I just like, okay, I have to invite you to Rant Cafe now. So, this Pam, I can see really that you're, you're not an animal animals. or some type of creature. Are you just like a queen? Actually, I'm kind of all of the above because mm. I'm a shapeshifter, so I can take any form I want, right? There's been a few streams where I was a She's beast, ditto. Because, yeah, exactly. I'm basically ditto. I'll Fast show you me. one of them right now. It might yeah, take go me a for minute it. to get the right one. <laughs> Hold on. In my personal she's lore, she is Amelie's um, daughter, and she's yeah, a princess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sometimes I just like want to be just a head. You know? Oh my god, it's just a head. Oh my god, she's yeah. a UA traitor. Wait, that's, <laughs> that's not shape shifting, you're just a head. <laughs> it's invisible. Some people call it shape shifting, have have some people call forms. it decapitation. Tomato, tomato. I can't do any other forms in this program right now, but I've, I've done some other forms that are quite interesting. Check it out, Briggs has an invisible cup. Aha, uh -huh. well. I'm also a shape shifter. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yo, yo, put it by your neck so it looks like your head is floating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm sideways, I you did. I can't, it's got. It was open. Okay. Close, <laughs> close it! What the heck? <laughs> I can't, it's open. Oh, gravity. 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 Yeah! You can also decapitate right. yourself on screen and survive. There we go. Nice. Mrs. Pam. Oh. Yes. You have a lot of triangles. Is that the YouTube yeah. symbol? It actually isn't. You see, I'm the CEO of a like totally real company called PlayAsia, and there's a little triangle like a play, like a for a controller, on the logo. And when I upgraded to Queen, the logo was kind of removed from me, so now we have some triangles everywhere instead because it's a little more fancy. And it looks like sparkles. And my hair too, um, on the ponytail. I'm just moving it real quick. There, see? On my cape oh. and in my ponytail, are all everywhere. <laughs> Is it weird that I didn't even notice the triangles until Nox pointed it out? <laughs> yes, Animac, it is weird because it means your attention was somewhere else. Anyway, yeah, her. Eyes. That was actually. I saw in your Twitter bio that you are the CEO of Play Asia. Is that the same Play Asia that like sponsors streamers and YouTubers? So it's Play Asia, like um the one of the biggest gaming import companies from Asia. So like we have a lot of games that are only released. Uh, in Asia and Japan and stuff, but you can buy physical English copies through us. And um, we also localize a lot of games that other companies won't, like games you wouldn't want to show your mom. We also have games you'd want to buy for your mom, though. 
So, I mean, we cover everything. They, they got it so, all. Wh when you said you were the CEO of a totally real company, you weren't being sarcastic? You were actually serious? Oh, you're yeah, I'm actually the CEO. An Animac, you're such a dingus. No, I, <laughs> but, such a but when dingus. someone says a totally real company, I immediately totally think real. they're being sarcastic. It's totally real. Play Asia. <laughs> oh my god, you don't believe it. You just don't believe it. <laughs> well, she's That's on rude. there. She's on there. Mm -hmm. You can buy merch so, with my face on it too, if you still don't believe me. <laughs> I've somehow become a go-to for like a lot of random YouTubers and streamers just asking me for advice and stuff, which is very nice and wholesome, and I'm very happy to help. One of them was Play Asia just wanted to sponsor me. Are they a legit company? Ah! And I was, and you know what I said? You know what I said? We're following oh, through the theme. No. I said I never heard of Play Asia. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> I, I like to consider myself the CEO of Rat Cafe LLC. <laughs> no one ever gets fucking paid because I'm so lazy. <laughs> I've met. Take in, none of us have gotten paid for like doing podcasts for like six months because I haven't done our finances. <laughs> pay them, damn it! Do you hear Among Us is getting an actual manga? No, yes, it's I not. did. What? That's it fucking is. sus. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's gonna be the next Death Note. <laughs> Oh. You're, well, you're you never know, speak. you never know. It does sound like it could have as much of a thriller element if they pull it off well. Honestly, All you doubters. It totally depends <laughs> how you do it. Like, you could have a good manga based well, on the see, premise, honestly. Light is clearly <laughs> yeah. taking tasks. That took him six seconds too long. <laughs> <laughs> the real question, though, if it's a manga, are they going to make everyone hot, or are they still going to look like those little beans? <laughs> yeah, hopefully <laughs> hot beans. Uh, that's what, oh, hot that's beans. what I'm hoping Sexy for. Sexy ass beans. <laughs> I, I think it would be hilarious if there was like some an Among Us anime. You see some dude just run up to somebody else, shake him, and then just pull out his speakerphone to self <laughs> Just fun. shaking at <laughs> That would be amazing. Who the hell oh killed Jeff in the cafeteria? I don't know, man. That wasn't me. But everyone else was all together in this area. I don't know. It still wasn't me. It's it horrible. It's, it's horrible problem. because you can fake claim anyone. I could copyright yeah. strike Animac three times and get his channel banned. Yeah. Like, I could do yeah. it. Yeah, well, not now because I have million dollar lawyers on my side, Nux. Hey. I could yeah. copyright yeah. strike Pam three times. Dude, she's a fucking <laughs> CEO, dude. CEO have million she's a CEO of a million dollar, right. dollar oh company, God. bro. I could, I could copyright you. Briggs three times at his dead I mean, channel. Dude, I don't he even, doesn't I don't upload, upload, upload on, get bro. Does it matter? Okay, I've yeah. said this for a long time. Getting verified on Twitter is massive because every single person on the platform will get notified when you respond mm -hmm. to them, okay? Yeah, I remember Elon you, Musk you called liked me. my tweet. Okay, cool. Okay, I was going to make fun of you, but if Elon Musk liked your tweet, I take back everything I said. And he would not yeah. have liked it if it wouldn't have been verified. Okay. But, but Twitter's the worst platform ever, so. <laughs> that's, that's, that is a valid point. Twitter yeah. is the worst. Until a company comes yeah, and really? fucking sues Twitch and changes no, the no, entire no. platform. No, 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 no. It's not sues Twitch. They don't care yeah, about sues can't. Twitch. Of course they, they don't. don't they don't care. What they would care about, the only thing that could actually really scare the hell out of them is if Netflix sues XQC. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, personally. Because at this point, he's not only watching on stream in front of 100,000 people, he's redistributing copyrighted yeah. Yeah. That's like scary felony stuff. So if you yeah. personally get sued, that would be... This is the kind of stuff where on YouTube, if you did it, your channel would be completely destroyed within a yeah. matter of And that's what drives me crazy. They don't see the long term, or they probably just don't care about the long term like ramifications of doing yeah. this on Twitch. The YouTube system is so broken. And now this could end up happening yeah. to Twitch if they need to cover their asses too. Where it's like, exactly. oh, now we're going to deal with false copyright claims. Or I'm going to be scared to open up a YouTube video on, on Twitch. Yeah. Oh my no, it's God. so stupid. Because, because it's live. Now... Like with YouTube, you can like curate your content and hopefully cover your ass. If you're clicking on a YouTube video live on Twitch and someone includes something and you get copyright striked. Oh man, I get I get to see the future. It's, it's so sad. Yeah, and I mean, and, and exactly okay. those multimillionaires with, a, with huge pan, fan bases already. They're not going to be in trouble. Oh, they got to stop watching videos. Cool they're gonna watch something else or play games uh, but the people trying to grow exactly. and trying to react to other people's stuff that are bigger than them and stuff like that they're gonna get hit and yeah i mean if it's a two-day ban that you get like if it's a two-day ban even on youtube if that was the case a lot of people would risk it because who cares but youtube there's like no no we'll take down your channel if you get three strikes you're done your, your livelihood done it's yeah. exactly what like Zekin said in chat like small creators are the ones that are gonna yeah. actually suffer from this
Yeah. Yeah. In the end, and that's the way it is. Coming from like a, being an anime content creator, I could have I could have done that for like the fucking last two years. Yeah, you should have. Ouch! As like a YouTube creator, sometimes like even just pulling up stuff for reactions, it can be kind of scary. And I don't know, just the fact that people did this when I first heard about it, I was like, what the fuck? But I could imagine if someone goes and takes XQC to court and he says, but 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 it was fair use, right? <laughs> uh, and then. And then the lawyer is like, well, you see, in your last stream, here is five hours of edited footage of you watching MasterChef without saying anything or without even being on stream. Dude, oh my God. sleep streams. There are sleep streams where the people stream shows. People stream on sleep Terrible. streams. Dude, that's not react harder, bro. That's no. not That's not a dude reacting. Dude, if, that, if, if that's not fair to use, I don't know what is. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, do you remember when XQC wanted to sue the Olympics for not letting him stream it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Twitch is amazing. Bro, oh. imagine if somehow, like it's not gonna happen, but if somehow XQC won the lawsuit, it would just open the floodgates Dude. of anything goes, bitches. Wait, if, if XQC goes. wins the lawsuit, I will hail oh, him as the greatest internet figure to it's ever like, live. Hey. Copyright itself was destroyed. Yo, when when are we making VTuber NFTs? When are we destroying the environment and taking things into our own hands, okay? I think that we could just take a cute VTuber and turn them into an ugly monkey. Thoughts? Let's do it. Yeah. I mean, depending how much the NFT sells for, and if I get a cut, I volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Based. Yeah, rich, quick. I was actually talking to my Discord a while back, and I was being like, hey, we should start taking screenshots of my super chats and turning them into NFTs so we can make money off our money. We wow. Made. Money wow. off our money. This is <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> I do love all the Italian, badass Italian. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> it's every it doesn't character. matter. It, it, it doesn't matter to be in Italy anymore. It's like, hello, <laughs> I am a random employee at a Florida prison, and my name is Arcangelo Conputone. <laughs> I fucking love it. <laughs> Marcello. <laughs> You're holding typical, the gun wrong. Typical Florida man, John Galli A. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? My name is John Forcellini! <laughs> I don't know how dramatic everyone is in it too, because it's like amazing. they're literally all speaking like that. And I'm just like, I, this is really actually, dumb, but I also love it. It makes sense for them to be Italian, considering the hand really motions, the, like, the, the <laughs> posing, the gestures, and the dramatism. Yeah, that's a word. Yeah. <laughs> You, you have a cult, but you're just dressing it up as, as, a, as a corporation, which, you know, corporations have all the rights, so it works. Kind of a little bit of both. Like, the company makes me all the money so that I can become the most famous, beautiful person on the planet, and everyone will know me, and then I can control the universe, you know? So wait, so you're oh going God. for world domination too? Let's yeah. go! Let's go see you at the Ruh. top! Through corporate control, I like it. I mean, it, yes. it's, it's a realistic... You have to legitimize it. You have to legitimize thing. it. This was an epic highlight reel from the latest episode of the Rant Cafe anime podcast that I do weekly and is uploaded on iTunes, on Spotify, and on the Rant Cafe YouTube channel Uncut. And this is just kind of a highlight reel that I'm going to be doing once a week here on Nuxinor.